Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. A lot of people ask me, is it worth to upgrade to the Rhino 7? And the short answer is yes. And that's because of the sub D. In this video, I would like to compare sub D and the Rhino Nerve surface and to show you why it is worth to upgrade into the Rhino 7. Are you ready? Let's get started. So you all begin with the job that I am working on. I make this center setting and the side setting and then trimming uh, the bottom. And I feel like I need to have a flower pattern kind of uh, rim there and I may want to do the B setting. So the way that I'm going to make it and I want to make a little bit curve on this. So I wanted to do is create some sort of a curve look something like this. Right, so you have a gentle curve and in order to get that black curve, in order to get that green one, follow this curve, we are going to use the command for a curve from two view. So I click on the green, click on the red, and I will have this one. Uh, let me turn it into the cyan color. Now, in order to creating the surface follow this, gentle curve I'm going to creating a profile first so let's go ahead to use the conic corner which I like to use most of the time and I'm coming into my front view I'm going to create something look like this all right with this I'm going to tilt it a little bit and bringing and something look like this all right, so if I do in the regular sweep, I can have the surface sweep one, you got rail one, you got cross section, and then you will get something like this, right? If you take a look closely, you're going to see the surface is not good. You have to trimming each other there, right? So in the Rhino, you do have an option. So we are going to do one more time, sweep one rail. This is a rail, this is a cross section. And I want to record a history this time. And then I want to make sure that untrimmed meters is checked, right? So it will automatically trim whatever the, the surface right there in the middle. Now, when you click OK, that will be fine. If you take a look on the render, that will be fine too. And you can flow the stone on top of it. However, I don't like this line there. I want it to be nice and smooth, right? So the way to make it nice and smooth, I'm going to do the comparison, moving this one here on the side. I'm going to rebuild this guy. You see there's a kink right there. So in order to remove the kink, we can just fit at the edges or I'm going to rebuild this curve right there. So far I have 40 point and I'm going to be true to 40 point, but after rebuild, they will be all rounded there and I'm going to click OK. So now you can see the curve is rounded and I'm going to use the same cross section. Let's use the sweep one rail. You got this rail, you got this cross section and you hit enter and look like no problem, right? But if we take a look on the render view, you see that the still is a line there and the reason it has a line there is because uh, it is overlapping. If you can see the line, the surface overlapping there. And besides, not only it has a line, it's getting even worse, is because you have an intersect itself, right? So this is not a valid surface for printing. How can we improve that? Uh, you could making this one coming out a little bit more. For example, you can do the sweep one rail, you go here and here, and then I want to record a history and we get something like that. If you move it out a little bit more, like this cross section, you can kind of avoid that. Or in fact, it's opposite. Let me move in a little bit more. Right, so if we're moving a little bit more, then you can avoid that, but maybe that's not the size that we want. Right. So this is why I recommend everybody looking into the sub D because in sub D, this will be an easy solution. What does that mean here? If I have, instead of using the sweep one rail on the regular surface, I'm using the sub D tool. You come in here with the sub D. This icon right here exactly look like a sweep one, but it's a sub D sweep one. You're going to click on this one as a rail and you're going to click on this one as a cross section and take a look on on that. We have a real time that we can adjust it. Now you can still see a little bit folding there. So if you change the segment, last segment than what you have there, you can kind of smooth this out. 
really nicely. You can also increasing the segment right here for let's say I want to do 28 of them, which will allow you to have the sharper corner there. So even after that, you feel like this might be too sharp of a corner. You can pick up the uh, edges or the curve on the surface and simply just delete it. So for example, I'm going to delete the whole roll right here. I'm going to continue keep deleting right there. And you can see how round. You can also do some um, alteration by selecting this surface for the whole surface simply like that. Uh, pick up the other one and you can choose the whole thing. And and we simply just going to move it down and maybe scale it down a little bit so we can have th this kind of like caving feeling and that's not going to happen right here if you are going to do in this way for the sweep you will need to edit the control uh the cross section right there before you even starting you know to sweep so i highly recommend you looking into the rhino 7 sub d it is not too hard i have a course teaching you from the very basic to more of advanced level and to show you all different kind of a scenario using a sub d for your design i hope you find this short video helpful let me know what you think in the comment below thank you for watching and i'll see you next